video will show the proper operation of the folding seat mast and latch release on a Bike Friday ticket. And we'll also show uh, some possible things that may need to be remedied and how to remedy those if it's not working properly. So first, folding a ticket, leaving that seat mast push forward a little bit and bringing it all the way around until we hear it click and know that the rear end has latched in place. Now what's happened is this peg has latched into the hole in this latch plate and it will not release until the seat mast is pivoted back up towards the riding position and what we call the sweeper will lift the latch plate off of the latch peg. There we go. So that's the fold. Again, it clicks in place right there and then the sweeper lifts the latch plate off of the latch peg. Now, the sweeper needs to be shaped right to avoid jamming. In some cases, uh, particularly if we're changing out a seat mast for sizing purposes or, or uh, uh, repaint, then sometimes the sweeper may need to be reshaped. And that can be done with an adjustable wrench, if necessary. So I'll show you what situations we want to make sure we can avoid. First, if the person operating the bike, instead of leaving this in, in sort of like a, a middle of the fold position when they go to latch it, if they were to slam it all the way back, as far back as the seat mask can go, that brings the sweeper forward. And you see how you can get some interference here before the latch peg is in the hole of the latch plate. Ideally, it just lifts that up and still allows it to get to the position it needs to. You can imagine though, if there were too extreme of a bend, if the sweeper came out too far, you'd really have some interference there. And there's enough leverage on the seat mass that we could actually damage this piece. I'm gonna actually bend this and show that interference happening. This piece is pretty workable. So now as I come around, I've got, I've got a pretty bad jam. I think if I force this, it would still be okay, but this is not ideal. In a few cases, we've had these break. And so it's easy to just bend it down just enough that it still is high enough to lift the latch plate off the latch peg, but not so high that it jams when the seat mast is all the way back. So there we are, lifting it up. That's back into good shape. And it's still lifting it off. Second possible interference position is here we are in the latch position, bike is folded. In order to pack this into a suitcase, you have to go into what we call the overfold position. So the sweeper lifts it off, and rather than, instead of putting it back in the riding position, I lift it off and actually fold it slightly farther. I don't know if you saw that happen, but the latch peg is no longer in the, in the latch plate's hole. It's actually folding the bike just a little bit farther. And if the back end of the sweeper were up about five centimeters higher, you can imagine I'd get stuck, captured in between the stop and the latch plate. In order to remedy that, all you have to do is bend the back edge of the latch plate into a nice gentle bend back to allow it to lift from either direction. So you can imagine if this was extremely pointed out on the back edge, it can get stuck in that overfold position and then a uh, customer is not able to successfully unfold the bike back into the riding position. That's stuck, totally stuck. And so I'm gonna have to use this adjustable wrench to lift the, to manually lift the latch plate off the latch peg and get it back on the correct side. of the sweeper. And again, what we want to see is a bend on both edges of that sweeper so that it can't get stuck like I just showed you. So there we are, overfold position. It's not able to go so far that it's going to get stuck. All right, so once again, we'll just do a, do a fold and show the way everything should work. Alright, so latch peg clicks in place, sweeper lifts the dinosaur off. <laughs> the dinosaurs are our funny name for that latch plate, so 
let that slip in there. And there we go. This one works fine and uh, shouldn't get jammed. Thanks.